here we got some caliper covers today brought to you by cci caliper covers what's happening youtube welcome back to another video guys thank you guys for tuning in and today we're going to be installing some caliper covers check it out now, these are from cci i'm going to tag them that way you guys know where to get them and uh, this is what I got, guys. I got these uh, actually uh, secondhand. The guy that owned this um, actually got in a wreck, so he ended up wrecking his TL, and uh, and then he ended up hooking me up with these. So uh, these are just uh, basically all for looks, guys. And it's gonna make the calipers look a lot better, and they add no performance whatsoever and they're just basically some just like some metal i'm not really sure what kind of metal they made with but they're painted and they look really good so it's gonna make the car even look a lot better i do need to get some rotors it's like some slotted rotors that will be nice and this is from endless rpm so that's one site you can get your slotted rotors from you can definitely get them but for now, we're just going to do this. Should be a pretty easy install. And snaps right in. Wow. For the front, we're going to be cleaning off the caliper brackets. Not the caliper, but the caliper bracket. This piece right here. We're going to be putting on the sticky magnets there. So we're going to be using some sandpaper. I'm not sure what grit this is. But this has got to be at least like 100 or 200 grit and just clean off i'm going to sand it down then i'm going to spray it with brake cleaner we're cleaning it with sandpaper because this red thing right here it is the uh double-sided tape so that is actually tape right under this red film so we want to make sure that we don't get any dirt on the sticky side because if there's dirt or brake dust under there that will actually end up end up falling off so we don't want that you can get brake cleaner from your local auto parts store they're really cheap bam bam wipe it off make sure after wiping it's clear so now let's take off this sticky tape right here or the stick or uh, I'm sorry the red uh, cover all right we got we're gonna be using two of them the red covers are off now it's sticky All right, that's on there now. All right, next step is take these off. Make sure that magnet stays on there, right there. Same thing on this side. All right. And these are on there. Now, next step is take off this, the red cover. Okay, once the red tape is off, time to put 
this on there. Time to stick these bad boys on there. <clears throat> Fronts are done. Let me take these off. And that's what it looks like once it is installed. Looks actually really, really good. Snap them on. It actually look really good, guys. I know it's kind of cheesy, but last and final one. We're gonna do the rear. And this is it for the rear. SH all-wheel drive, super handling all-wheel drive, caliper covers, really cool design. I don't mind you if you actually guys actually copy this. So Acura in the front and then SH all-wheel drive on the rear for the lettering so you guys can get whatever color or design you want on these things which is pretty cool so let's do the same step i'm gonna wipe it off make sure it's clean get the magnets take off this red all right and since this is clean, I can now stick this on. Bam, there you go. And another one. And then you just wanna squeeze it on there. Okay, now you can actually take these off. There we go. Now we know these magnets are on there. These magnets are actually really strong, very strong. Then next, we're gonna test fit this thing onto here. Now I wanna test fit it because when I put it on there, I wanna make sure that these portion is not touching the backing plate. I don't want it to rub or make any rattling noise. Where the tip of my finger is, I'm gonna leave some space right there in between the backing plate and the caliper cover on both sides, top and bottom. And I think that's pretty good right there. I want it in the center, not like this, not like this, but in the center. And I'm gonna have some space. I do not want to touch the backing plate. I'm gonna be off of it slightly, just like that. Bam, space. That's pretty good right there, I think. And just press it on. Ah, it's touching. All right, take it off. There we go. Now these things are on there properly. You can just, just squeeze it on. And there you go, guys. It is done. If you ever need to work on your brakes, just take these off. Now you can work on your brake pads or whatever, brake job. That's pretty cool, guys. And just like that. I actually slap these a little bit. Make sure they're, they, they're not rubbing. Yeah, I know it's kind of weird, but I hate noises, man. So I think that is perfect. It's not hitting the backing plate here. This is your backing plate, guys. This is your rotor backing plate. Not touching. Bam, it's installed. All right, guys, we're finally done. Wanted to do a quick video, install video on these. I've been dying to install this thing. Wow, guys, these look so good. I really like it. If you guys are also wondering where I got these headlights from, check out my video, my install video. They're from USS USR Auto, and I love these headlights. I have the five-speed Auto TL, and this thing keeps up with even the manual uh, version of this car. 
and check out those videos also. It's been going on three days since I've installed these couch covers. And I actually really like it, guys. I thought it was gonna be cheesy and uh, looks all weird and fake and stuff, but actually, it actually makes the inside of the wheel look a lot cleaner. I actually forget that, that, that they're even on there when I'm in the car. Like, I don't hear any rattles or anything. So if you guys, if you guys are planning on purchasing these, definitely, I do recommend it if you guys aren't trying to, you know, break the bank for some caliper covers. And um, now if you guys are looking to get the big brake kit, with the actual the real exact thing uh check out the uh, stop tech they sell like a $2,200 uh, brake kit for the tl and that'll help your car stop a lot better this this car is a big car and it needs a lot of stopping power to stop this thing <laughs> um yeah guys if you guys install it properly it will not rattle at all as you can see I'll tap on it it's not really making any noises um, also guys if you guys are looking to get the a-spec kit uh, check out this video I'm gonna tag it uh, I have the Serona front a-spec kit and the rear Serona a-spec kit on here so uh, check out my video if you guys are looking to get that uh, I'll show you that video will show you how to install the Serona a spec kit for the 09 through 2011 TL hey yeah, guys I really love this no problems at all whatsoever no rubbings and like I said these 18 inch wheels no problem at all I'm gonna end the video now so uh, like the video if you like it and definitely subscribe for more and I'll see you guys next video peace